guys, it's your boy X Kralos here, aka Emores, and today I'm gonna hit you up with another sick and simple tutorial on Photoshop. Uh, this tutorial is very easy, very basic. Many people know it. However, some people have troubles on it. Uh, as you can see on my channel, I can you see the Crayola logo on the top and Crayola designs next to it. Uh, it's a pretty sick. It's a pretty sick um effect that many people use on their backgrounds, and yeah. So what you want to do? You want to have any, you want to have any texture, or well basically any software device that snips out images of your desktop and etc. Uh, such as Gizo, uh, snipping device tool for Windows, and Imager. Uh, I'm gonna be using Gizo for this. So you want to do? You want to extend your page and uh, click your uh, Gizo. And you want to have a pretty, pretty a good amount of length here, good amount of width. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be per perfect right on the dot because you're gonna edit that later with the pen tool. So once you do that, just want to stretch it out and let go. This will give you your link if you don't know that already. Okay, once that opens up, you want to simply right click and press save image as. I want to save it as YT texture. And then save it to your desktop and simply press save. Okay, this is when the tutorial really starts to kick in. I'm going to open up Photoshop. Then you want to open your YouTube template. So it's in my graphics folder. Wait a while to let this upload out. Okay, as you can see, it's on this page right here. As you can see, you have your um basic YouTube template here. What you want to do? You want to open up your texture that you just snipped out of YouTube. Press open. And that to open, press Control A, Control C. Go back to your um, YouTube template, and then simply go under Content Area and Control V. What you want to do here? You want to zoom in on that background. What you want to do is Control T. Scroll all the way up to the top. And stretch that out a bit to fit the 1440 by 900 top there. Keep stretching it out. And apply that. And you want to do? You want to zoom in a little bit more and grab your pen tool so you can start cutting out these red marks and black marks so yeah first thing you want to do you want to go over here where like there's the most texture of the grayish color you want to take a little portion out of that make make a selection right click make a selection press ok and then after that press ctrl J They'll pop that onto its own layer. Control T, and then simply move it over the spots that stand out. 
to make an all gray texture. This is kind of lengthy, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and come back to you guys. Alright, so once you have your parts, uh, textures, um, uh, cut out and covered all the spots and stuff like that, and you merged them, you can now do whatever you want is basically it. The tutorial is basically over, but you can, like, go ahead and put some text on the top. Like Crayola, like that. Size it down, and yeah, you can use it on your backgrounds, and yeah, you can use it on your YouTube backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe, comment in the section below, and like this video. And please subscribe to JD here for letting me use his background as an example. Uh, peace.